are off. And guess where? The estate <laughs> sale girls are at it again. We still need a shirt. We do. We need a shirt. So shall we be called the estate sale queens? <laughs> the estate sale junkies? Or the estate sale crazy ladies? Yeah. <laughs> well, here's why. So... We went with my sister and my great niece the other day, and we didn't quite get finished because oh goodness, we were going to various places. So I said to Suzanne, I'm gonna go Saturday and finish. <laughs> Plus we have to take something back to Best Buy, which I need to tell about. I got my husband a Sony photo uh, frame yeah. to upload all of your family photos and it just rotates or it may do an animation that you can put in there once a while. Anyway, that's what we were looking for is a SD card transfer uh, flash drive so that she was able to do that on her computer. So we found that and now over the summer when we were cleaning out those family videos we were talking about well, I'm in the process of trying to figure out what stinking cords I need to get that job done. So, I ordered what I thought I needed on Amazon the first time. Didn't work. Went to Best Buy. Young guy helped me. He was really nice. Thought he had done it, helped me out. Not the case. It didn't work. So, we're going again the third time. Taking them back. And... This time on my Amazon list, wish list, I've got it saved to what I think we need. Hopefully. In the Sony frame, I actually got that for my husband as a gift many, 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 many years ago. He never used it. So when we were cleaning out, I found it. And I said, I'm going to use this. I'm going to put it out and put all of our Disney photos on. So I think that'd be fun. So I am wearing this cute blouse. It's Bat Wings. And I got this from a boutique store called Les Buffalo. And Mom is wearing her kimono style. With a big floral. You can't see it right now, but it's got a big concho turquoise thing on the t-shirt. Cute. Turquoise today. And for some odd reason, I have got a headache that I will go through. Oh no. So. Yeah. I don't know where that's coming from. I think I brought my medicine somewhere. If not, I might. Well, first stop. Yes, we are here. <laughs> We're going to have breakfast at our place. I know. Are we boring or what? <laughs> we get the same thing every time Why we come is it down. It's so good. It's just, just good. Just dipping that sauce is just very therapeutic. Into it is it. good. And Suzanne got a peppermint white mocha. Uh -huh. Is that right? And here's what it looks like. And she put it in a koozie that I got from. Well, I actually ordered those from uh, Amazon. Amazon. They come in a set of three. So we're going to enjoy our meal before we go to estate sales. Mm -hmm. Estate sale number one is in a kind of a quaint area in the city where old homes are that are just, I think they're just so cute. This one's a little small little house and it is pretty crowded. So we'll see what we can or cannot film. It's a cash only. Doesn't say anything about half price. So we shall see if it's going to be half price. This is a fill your box thing. So you fill a box and they make you a deal. And it is quite something. Okay. 
these two things right here. This is $62.50, and it has a date that says $18.62. But I don't know, you know, I guess it's an egg holder. I don't know. And then this one, also $65, but it's dated back in time. So, I don't know. The things that I would be interested in are these blue items, but the price, I don't know about that. And look at this thing. I don't know what it is, but it is something. I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. Christmas stuff galore. That's making me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, somebody took the cups, but they didn't take the tea co teapot and the that. They took all the cups. This thing is so very interesting. That would have been really pretty. That marble table. I think it's a table. Yeah. This was a very unusual one. You fill your box, they make you a deal. So I got this. I, I'm going to have to look up what this blue stuff is. I've got another one at home. It was originally priced at 45 Today was half price day, but then I got these. Where did you, what country did you say these were made from? Hungary. Hungary glasses there's a set of four and they didn't have a price so he just said twenty dollars for the box so i took it and here we go on to the next so what did you think well different when i first walked in it was absolutely insanity yeah. it was pretty small so it was difficult to get around people but it was really nice they you know aren't they yeah. people that go to estate nice. sales are so nice and they're helpful yeah and they tell you things that you don't hear yeah so it was fun so we'll go to so number this two. is the area in the city that still has brick streets it's just very unusual and the houses are kind of cool let's just take a look at a few of them i'm more infatuated with uh <laughs> real estate than i am with the estate i are about to head into our second house of the day number two all right, here we go with number two. And we will see what we can see. Is it this one? Yeah, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> uh-huh. Really cool entry. Okay, let me get a picture of my favorite that's my favorite sign right there. It's a unique wall. Um, it's, it's wall textured, or is it wallpaper? No, it's wallpaper. Okay, it's just all up and down the hall. All right, here we go. Oh, Suzanne. Oh. There it is. But I cannot get it in my car. Either. We want a mirror for outfits of the day. Oh wow! Eighty-five. It would be. Oh, there's paint. Forty-two fifty. And I'm sure it's heavier than crud. And she says she sees paint. And canvases. Oh boy. Art supplies. Well, she yeah. loves. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I love the little twin bed set. That's cute. Oh my goodness. What? Is it a camera? Is it a Sony? It's a Sony. Is it the kind we need? Mm, no, it's the side. Okay. okay. So that's not the one that works for us. 
Isn't that beautiful? It is sold though. That is beautiful. And the matching. Cool, no that price. is so cool. Matching thing. This makes my wood thing completely different. We had our garage ready. Don't you think? Very pretty. Oh, look at all the pink. Mm -hmm. well, well, I think we've already done it. Jeanette should have come to this one. For sure. You want to go to the garage? Sure. Have to go through the jewelry. We don't usually do garage sales, but this one was across the street from the estate sale. So we're going to check it out, mainly for prices, since we're going to have ours really soon. So we're going to see kind of what they do. Okay, number two was pretty good. We'll show you what we got when we're at home. So now we're headed for number three. Number and three is day sale of the day. Oh, and we did two garage sales. I, I showed you a little they bit of footage of nice one people. of them, but I didn't do a footage of another one. <laughs> and I found a glass that matches the glasses that my mother gave me. And I only needed one because I had a broken one. She sold it to me. She said 50 cents and I gave her a dollar. So we're good. Paradise estate sale. So we'll see what's going on here. Yeah. There's some cornware in the corner, but it's the wrong pattern for me. Uh oh, here's some Fitz and Floyd. I always can recognize Fitz and Floyd. You know how I love my backyards. I always have to look. This is a screened in porch. How great would that be for mosquitoes? Wouldn't that be wonderful? That'd be great. We are going to get these two lamps. We found another room. They're crystal and clear glass. And I have a feeling they're going to success there if you want to call it success. But um, I helped her. <laughs> A little bit with those so half price today both lamps were 45 a piece so you get two lamps for 45 basically so we're ready for the next one and see where what damage we can do some more are we crazy are we crazy we're crazy <laughs> okay this one <laughs> might be just a little bit interesting we're in an area that is a little bit older, I'm a little more run down, but we'll see what happens. Tail. Thompson, uneven ground. Awesome. But we can come on in. This is interesting. Okay, this is like tight, tight, tight. Everything is in packages. Yeah. And very, very dark. Pick through the shoes if you want. I mean, this is like tight, 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 tight. I adore pocket doors. Pocket doors are my thing. Oh, I love pocket doors. Okay, I found a chair that I can carry around with me in Disney World. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, we kind of decided to pass on that one. It, I mean, it had some, had some nice pretty style. things, but just, just, just kind of overwhelming. So what are we gonna do now? Have we done them all? We'll check our list and see if we have done them all. but we're gonna try it anyway. It is a duplex, so we will see what we can see here. We need to just get one from 
paper trip. And somebody has a, a deal. Let's tell one that has one on. Look at the wallpaper. I know, it's really cute. Yeah, it's comfy. I think that we have done all the estate sales. This was the last one. Is that right? Yeah. And this last one, we, we they had some really good. It did. It wasn't expensive at all, like a dollar for a necklace that I can tear apart and make my jewelry. And but Suzanne found some that we're so she can actually wear. I hate it that we kind of see how so go ooh kind judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by Don't its cover. Don't ever do it. Like that last one, I was a little like, mm, I don't know. But they had some nice things. I just didn't need, you know, any of it. So, I got some books for our retired teachers program that we, and they're always buy books that are in good condition and hardback that we can give the kiddos at the end of the year. So, got that done. So, now I think we're going to be headed to 6th Street. We're going to finish up the antique stores. And then we may hit Target, Best Buy, but take something back. And Dillard's is having a shoe sale. And I'm looking for a specific shoe, not just to buy shoes, to buy shoes. I've already got 10 shoes. Okay. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> All right, so we had to take a little break. We went to a pack of sack to replenish our water. I usually buy a cup of ice and then a bottle of water. And then we, yeah, we had to have a little pick-me-up snack energy <laughs> nuts are always good for energy so yes. now we are at the net and i will show a picture of it in just a minute it is on sixth street which is the antique street that we were on before so we're going to finish up some of the antique shops that we did not get to do when we were here last time so and the bad thing is is at antique stores the prices are yeah you're not as tempted i don't think at an antique store because they're pretty pricey but we like to look, so let's go see what we can do. This whole place is called The Nat, which is used to be a dance hall long ago, back in the city. <laughs> and so it is no longer a dance hall. It is now an antique store. So, and then they have a lot of murals painted along here. They're very, very pretty. Very unusual, very pretty. Sixth Street Antique Mall. Really, really cool. Okay, and they've got artwork. The net. This is a historic building. It has a sign. So this is what we're looking at, his two sides as you go down, and each little booth has its own little spot. It's kind of neat. Here's a bowl that I got at a state, so it's different, doesn't have a flare inside of it, but it is So, 
back in the day, this would have been the stage area for the band. And then, I don't know if these are original floors or not, but anyway, so the center, they turned into little booth sections for the antique mall. And it also has an upstairs. So, yeah, it's quite something. It is also not cool in here. It's quite warm. So if you ever want to come, <laughs> you need to come in the winter. Is it is not, no air conditioning. They have fans blowing and running, but on a hot summer day, it doesn't really help very much. back in college about archaeology. I absolutely loved it. And here's a book. That was kind of cool.
love when they decorate a jewelry box like this and add tchotchkes to it. So cute. Help me out with artists that makes her eyes really big. That's a cute doll. What a cute way to do your sketchbooks. Collaging. Yeah, I saw that. Cute way to do your sketchbooks. I like this bag. It is $22. And the back has, looks like this. Look fun. Duffel bag. I have this bag. How much? 23. Okay, I don't have any, wouldn't have room for it, wouldn't know what to do with it, but it's a tri-fold room separator or wall separator. That is pretty cool. I like it. Cute. I love it. I love butterflies. I just wish the price wasn't so high. It's 40 bucks. Look at those. You know my blue heart goes right here. And look how much. $625 for the Wedgwood Queensware plates. Oh, my stars. How lovely. Open Route 66. This is what it has, and this is where we are. Oh, I would so want a Barbie doll case. So cute. Shirley Temple. This was the old way of listening to music. Audio tracks. My Blue Heaven. Wow. Pyrex, Pyrex, Pyrex. If you're a Pyrex lover, yes. Jewelry. You have a really good eye.
just found something that we might not be able to live without. And of course it's Disney. And of course it is Disney. Little gumball machine. Cute. Okay, come here. I could have had the wild grapevine, but I didn't want the wild grapevine <laughs> because it is a problem. Yeah. Okay, this little thing right here, I'm very interested in it. I am in the Dollar Tree searching for some tubs to organize my color pencils. I I might have found something. Okay. We've done another Girls Day. We made it. We got a lot of items, as you can tell from the bag. Oh my goodness. We have to show you the haul. We will have to do it tonight. Yes. Probably after my husband goes to bed. And both of us look exhausted. <laughs> We're a little tired. Not bad. So we picked up supper, dinner, whatever you want to call it, on the way home. And Papa John pizza. 
news and daily in the life of the future. <laughs> so there, there will be many more fun days to come. We've oh yeah, lots of fun. Oh yeah, that will, that will come to the end. There will be some weekends. More, more fun to come. And We're always busy. Pretty busy. I am so busy. So busy. I just don't have as much energy. out because they were killing me because I had been wearing them so long so I want to show what we got at the estate sale on my side my part of what I got so I got some jewelry so I used to have an old necklace like this and when my house got broken into it got stolen and it was something that my papa had restrung for me so it was really close and dear to my heart. So I found a replacement. Does it have the same memory of that? But at least I have something to remember it by. And usually I get this kinds of things to wear for spirit week at our school for homecoming. So I thought if we have a Hawaiian day, it will sure be fit. And so mom found this one necklace for me. that has like a seashell effect in replacement of the lays I wore from last year because the lays made me hot. I did not like it. And she also found me another necklace that I could wear, but she's gonna have to fix it because it has no ends to connect it. So, and the other, oh wait. Uh, also the same garage sale, estate sale, I found, or she found me a gold necklace with matching earrings, but my ears are not pierced, so I don't wear earrings. So I'll just keep the necklace portion. Mm -hmm. And it has little crystals in it. It's really pretty. Chain, it is. and then one, one of the chains pretty. has crystals, almost like a tennis bracelet effect. And then also at this really cute antique store that we go to on 6th Street. Well, that's what the street's called. Anyway, it is a bubblegum hopper machine and unfortunately it's not workable. I thought I was going to be so cute at my school and kind of fill it up for candy. And anytime I had really awesome kids, I was going to let them get some candy to take. But we'll day. work on it and see if we can get it to work. Maybe there's some connection that, you know. I don't know if this can be taken off or not. I don't know. We'll, we'll look at it. The Mickey can be taken off. Yeah. Well, we'll look at it. And as of course, I always get supplies for school. So when I got home today, I tested them all out and about half of them worked and half of them didn't. I'm telling you, if I did estate sales, I would not sell any art supply unless it was in good standing shape. I'm well, I mean, if the pins don't work, take them out. Don't just sell them. I know they don't have time, but we would. We would take would, the time. I would take it home <laughs> over time yeah, to work on it. We would. That's ridiculous. At this place that I got the jewelry, I also got a Disney book, collector's item. And this is all about the old Disney films in the background behind the story and why they made it. So I had to do a collector's item, had to get a book of Disney things. And I found this, or mom found this bracelet for me at an older vintage estate sale. And the lady had lots of jewelry. We couldn't really tell if it was England, we didn't know what culture he lived there because there were dolls of different culture and backgrounds. So we don't know what the type of person lived there would be like, but this to me kind of looks like a coach bracelet. Or Chanel. It or could be Chanel. coach. Because it's got a C when you open it. But it's probably, you know. But it deep. could be coach. Yeah. I thought it was cute. It could be coach. We don't know. Yeah. And I'm I sure it's not got Chanel. <laughs> 
at that same place a bowl to match my pink collection of dishware. I thought this would be a good bowl to use for, you know, salads or a fruit bowl that I could take mm -hmm. <laughs> for, because we had to do it in December. We had to take um, items to uh, feed the teachers throughout the week. So I thought, well, I could do like a fruit bowl maybe. And I don't know. Yeah, it's the pink, um, it has the name. It's, it was like post-war time pink glassware and it's just real popular you see it all over everywhere but it's really pretty and there's lots of different patterns yeah and i thought it had said on the price tag 15 well or 750 and it was 15 half off oh and i need to take off that tag on the side yeah, before 15. i wash it We're gonna... i don't know why my eyes saw it in the glass because it was in the glass Curio cabinet. Curio cabinet. And my eyes thought it said seven fifty. But to my dismay it was fifteen, but it was still half off. Yeah, well seven fifty would be the half off price. And for also for school, I'm this year trying to have a very minimal desk just because I don't want any students touching my stuff. <laughs> just you know. They they kinda are like kids in a candy store. They like to grab. So, I got some little knit-nats to sit on my desk just for some important stuff or pens, pencils for me to grade, artwork and projects. And I thought this kind of reminded me of, oh, Tiki, I don't know, Polynesian style Disney print, like Tiki Room. And, well, this kind of just normal general decor and this was six dollars and it was half off and um i was trying to think if, if there was something else that i was going to mention i don't think so but i got some more things for school of course so i got this acrylic plastic tray that will it's nice for seat uh, that will sit on my desk and provide more support for my laptop so that I'm not having to look down. Keep. And it was only $5 at Target. Now, we went into Target to try to find some t-shirts, but... And they did not have them. They didn't have them. And also, I'm trying to be more organized, and I really didn't want these wide tubs taking up so much stinking room in my classroom. So I got some what's called ice bins. And what I'm going to do, they were just a dollar twenty by the dollar store, Dollar Tree. And for each color of color pencil, I'm going to put each color pencil in each of these bands. Ranging red, orange, yellow, green, you know, rainbow, plus the neutrals. And so hopefully I'm going to talk my kids into keeping everything organized. So at one of the estate sales that we had went to, these lamps were sitting down in a bedroom. The bedroom was all taken out. Everything sold and these were just the only thing standing. And they were $45 a piece. So a half price. So half price, each one was 45, uh -huh. which would have been 90. 90. So half of that. Half that. Been. So she got two for 45. Two for 45. And they're just, they're really pretty. They're not like a crystal, I don't believe, but they're glass, and we're gonna try one. We're gonna plug it in and see if it works good, which I'm praying and hoping. But the lamp shades are really pretty. It's like glass, gold. Oh, turn again and see if it shows in the, uh... okay, it doesn't show. I thought it might show down here, no. you know, in the tube. Not that lucky. But isn't that pretty <laughs> lit up? I think it's pretty. It, I think it will be a nice touch too. Much. But I'm not so sure if it wasn't a three way. Because it almost looks like there's work down in there. But maybe not. But that's probably not a three way bulb. I don't even know if they make three way bulbs. But 
anyway, the shade was gold. It's just really attractive. So we're gonna see how they look at your house. So I'm See, you have to turn it again. So I think that's a three-way bulb thing. We need to look for some three-way bulbs. See, one, two, three. We need to look for three-way bulbs and see if that lights up that bottom part. Good. Okay, we're gonna That's write good. that down. Go. Okay. So these are the things that I picked up at the estate sales we went to today. I don't know what this is. It sort of looks like, I know it's not um, lapis, but it's that blue shell that looks like lapis, but it's not, and I can't, it's in, it's not in my head right now, so I can't think of it. Anyway, I just like to tear this up and use it in my jewelry. And then this feels like jet black uh, shell, or, you know, I think that I can use this in my jewelry, so I'm gonna tear it up. And then this was just some shell also. I can tear it up or do whatever with it. It's probably something, I don't know, has a name, but I don't know what it would be. But anyway, I got it mainly to make jewelry with. And then I had picked up from an estate sale here in our hometown, and somebody needs to help me. This, now this one has a name on the bottom of it, and it is Fenton Blue Milk Glass. And so today they were making the deals, and I got this Fenton blue candy dish, I guess. I don't know what else you would call it. But anyway, so now these two pieces will go together. So I guess maybe that's gonna be something that I'll look for because this was 45 at one place. I don't remember what they asked for at that other antique or estate sale. But anyway, I'm gonna start looking for it and watching for it and see what the prices are. But if you go to an antique store, it's gonna be above $50 and here they were making the deal where you put a whole bunch of stuff in a box and he'll make you a deal. So he, I put this in a box and I also put these in a box. So he made me a deal of all of this for $20. So I thought that's something, so we'll take it. Now these are from Hungary and they are crystal and it does the little test. You can hear it. And there were only four of them, but my china has a blue rose in it, and I thought it would go really pretty with my china. Even though there are only four, it would be just for a little private dinner that we might have, and it still has the attached label that says it's from Hungary. So I thought that was kind of cool. So here's the four of these. And then at another one of the estate sales, I got a crystal bottle. And again, this one is crystal. You can hear the ping. Oh, that pretty bell sound. And so I'm kind of getting more into this kind of stuff. Now, am I gonna keep all the crystal bowls that I've gotten? Probably not, I don't know, we'll see. But now I'm gonna go through and look at the glass bowls versus the crystal bowls. And I'll be maybe selling my glass bowls, you know, and not keeping all of those. You know, unless I'm just, there's some of them that are really pretty. You just kind of hate to not, if, if I like them and they have fruit on them, I want to keep them. But if it's got a name, I mean, what's in the name? It's kind of like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, so what, Fenton, you know, was a big thing. So, and Crystal is something, but blue, you know, I love blue. So that's where I was going with all of this. And I got one more thing at a, an antique store, and I'll take you out and show you that. So if you remember before, I got the uh, gate that was in this kind of look. And let me get this in the light, because it's, it's 10.30 at night, folks, and we're doing this. <laughs> but anyway, I just have really fallen in love with this antique cream-colored stuff. So I, I found the... Uh, the gate and my mother had some of this kind of stuff so i thought this would go real well with what she had now this one was a little more pricier because it was an antique store find so thirty dollars 
for this. So anyway, I did not tell about the crystal bowl. The crystal bowl had $24 on it, so half price it was 12. And then, like I said, the uh, Fenton milk glass and the crystal, uh, hun uh, crystal glow glass wear from Hungary. The, this all together was $20. So I feel like we kind of had some good deals and it and was- And this was my last little find. It's just a little blue pitcher of some sort. I don't know exactly, you know, what part of the home that you would use this in, but it's just kind of cute. And of course, blue, like my favorite colors. It had been $9.50, so it was $4.25. And I thought, even though it doesn't have any sort of name or anything, I mean, there's something right there. I'll have to have Suzanne look at it and see what it is. But, you know, just cute, just well, pretty. That's all we're going to do tonight. It is, like I said, 1030. We are tired, but we wanted to show everything that we had picked up from the estate sales today. Had a great time together, always do. And so we'll try to get this all put up for you and let you see what day we had and and go from there and then next week big times ahead so thanks for being with us thanks for following along we always enjoy having everyone uh, comment and stay with us to the bitter end until we're finished and hope that you enjoy the estate sales and if you do let us know um, if you don't <laughs> We can just do that on our own. But if you enjoy us sharing that, we would love to know that. So everyone have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And we will see you again next time. Thank you.